Greetings, we're back with another video. Hope you guys are still out there collecting action figures. I know I have. Been away for a while, been actually gaming. <laughs> because, yeah, I recently got one of those PlayStation 5, so I've been actually just been gaming the heck out of it. But, we back with another video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the JLA McFarlane Toys Wave. Now, here's the thing about this wave. And I'm going to go through each action figure, each figure, separately. But when I first found these figures, okay, the wave showed up at Target. And mind you, Target is like dry right now. Like, it's slowly coming back. But for the last couple of months, ever since the new year, yo, it's been dead. I'm pretty sure you fellow collectors seen it too, yo. Like, ain't nothing hanging on the shelves, barely. But they're slowly starting to come back out. And I'm starting to find more figures on the shelf. But... When I first saw this wave, I actually seen this Green Lantern first. I actually seen this Aquaman first. And then I seen the blue Superman. Now, oh, actually, was it the blue? No, it was the red Superman. And then the Batman. Now, I had no idea that this was a platinum edition wave. I just bought them because I'm like, oh, okay, well, I know that this one has a variant. But I had no idea that this guy had a variant and this guy had a variant. So my first jump into this wave i actually thought i finished the wave but unbeknownst to me maybe i wasn't paying attention to the forums enough i had no idea that this was a chase wave so i opened these thinking that i was done i got my plastic man back there and then i went back just this week and then i saw a new wave and i saw a new aquaman that's sitting back there you know he's right over here i saw a new um green lantern with a different emblem and I almost passed up on him because I'm like, well, I already got him. I don't need him. I just wanted to build a second Plastic Man. But I had no idea that this was a chase wave. But we're going to go into it. We're going to break it down. And we're going to see the differences and the similarities in all of them. Okay, so first up, we have Batman. Now, this particular Batman, we got before. You know what I'm saying? And this is pretty much shares the same sculpt and design and everything. You're still getting the same Batarang. So, you know, Todd threw in the battering again. But overall, I mean, this is just like a callback to me of the 89 Batman, which I like. I think a lot of people did do customs of him already and painted this guy this color. But now you don't really need to customize this guy because now you got this. The only customizations I did with this OG Batman right here is I gave him a cloth cape and I gave him a wired cape. So, you know, pretty much it can actually flare out when he's uh standing you know what i'm saying but overall i still like this batman this is a pretty good batman i think todd printed so many of these batmans is the reason why we had to get this sculpt again and seeing this again because i thought we retired this already but i guess you know we didn't not to say it's not a bad batman it's just like yeah you know and jumping into in the, in the beginning and jumping into mcfarland toys you know this was like the batman that i really like because i'm like yo the the head sculpt on this was truly impressive and you know we revisited it again the difference with this and i'm noticing you may have to really focus in on here but his cow is a little shade of blue so i noticed that they did do a little bit of difference with this new particular batman he has like blue line line work like you can see so it's like a shine on it so overall i mean if you buy this wave twice you're getting a you're getting a decent batman and it's a different take on what he did with this one back here but yeah overall and his spikes are even like sort of like blue you know you focus in so you can see it but yeah this is pretty decent i actually like this batman now that i know i just noticed that <laughs> but uh yeah it's a pretty cool batman even his boots you know what i'm saying they have that little blue sort of like a blue paint that they threw on there so you know i'm glad that they pay attention to detail i'm glad that you know the McFarlane um, team actually did that with this particular Batman. Not just giving us a brand, another Batman, but also doing a little bit of something different, you know, because we already seen this Batman more than once. I think he was in the five pack of family pack, but he was blue. But uh, yeah, Batman. Now, next up, we have Jon Stewart. And like I said before, I was already going to buy Jon Stewart in this particular wave. But when I noticed this, I'm like, that looks odd. And I didn't remember seeing that in the original promo shots of this wave. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I guess that's just his, you know, emblem. He don't have the original old classic. I mean, he has this other 
emblem. And I don't know what comic book series this is from. I have to look this up. But I thought I was done with Jon Stewart. His face sculpt is fantastic. You know, I actually like what they what they did with him. And like, if you remember the Jon Stewart from before, you know what I'm saying? Both head sculpts are, are pretty dynamic, man. I think I use this head sculpt more for like Spawn and like other custom characters that I want to create, like henchmen. But I like this head sculpt. I like the little fro that they gave him and everything. Both of these share the same sculpt. You're not getting anything different other than the emblem. But like I said, I thought that I was done with this wave. I thought I was finished when I got this guy. I When I went back and stuff, I'm like, wait a minute. That emblem's different. And I passed up on him first time because I asked the lady, you know, could they check in the back and see if there's any more. And she pulled this guy up and I was almost didn't going to get him. But what happened was I wanted to, I wanted two separate plastic mans. So I wanted the two head sculpts. I already had, we already get the two head sculpts with Batman, you know, but I wanted a second body and I wanted some second legs so that way I could just attach those secondary arms that we got. But I didn't know until I got home, like, wait a minute, these are two different. This is two different John Stewart. So that's awesome. But yeah, John Stewart, the classic John Stewart from the Justice League. Okay, so next up we have Superman. Now, in the comics, back in the day, I do have the cover of the blue Superman. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just flying right at you on the cover. It wasn't really accepted back then. I'm gonna tell you something. Like people thought it was cheesy. People was like, yo, what did you do with Sue? You just killed him and brought him back, and now all of a sudden he's blue. Nobody liked this costume back then, all right? I'm showing my age a bit, but honestly, nobody liked this costume, I'm all right? Over time, people started to accept it because they did revert back to the original blue, red, and yellow, you know what I'm saying? And I think the artist or the writer that actually wrote that comic, you know what I'm saying, to, to pretty much not make Superman all samey, they, he did this on purpose because he knew the reaction he was going to get from the fans. He was like, you know, give them, throw a whole new costume on them and let them believe that this is going to be a new, um, you know, cool Superman for the younger generation. And people was just not having it. And he knew that. So when he reverted back to the old blue, red and yellow, you know what I'm saying? It was way more accepting because even though Superman came back after death, a lot of people didn't accept it. Like, oh, he died and he's coming back. Ah, uh, you know, it almost killed comics. So that's what they try to change up. They went through a lot to pretty much give us a different variation of Superman. But overall, in this wave, you're getting the red and blue. Now, this is this is the standard release, and this is the Chase variant. I got the Chase variant first because I'm thinking, all right, there's only two of these. I know that they, I knew in the promotional shots that there was two of them, but I had no idea the whole wave was going to be changed up a bit. So yeah, here's your Superman, and not for nothing. The sculpt is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? And just like the Green Lantern, you've seen this body sculpt before. I think this one shares the same sculpt as uh, Flash. The um, the Flash that um, has the um, uh, mask down look. You know, where you can have his um, his regular human face or you can have his cowl over his head. But yeah, shares the same body. But overall, I like the way he came out. The only difference with these two, and I notice is there's a paint defect right here. So if you can see that, I noticed that. That there's a paint effect. It's supposed to be all white here, just like this one. So, you know, if you're out and about and you're looking for this Superman, yeah, just make sure your paint is good. But overall, it doesn't bother me that much. I'm just happy to find the red and blue and just be done with this wave because I just really just wanted the red and blue. And I didn't even know that the whole wave had it was to all chase variants but i like the way these two came out these are definitely going to my collection on my superman shelf i'm glad to have them and even though it wasn't accepted back in the day i appreciate that todd actually went and gave us these characters a second time because i think the first time we got it it was in the um, dc classics but now we're getting a whole new improved superman now next up we have aquaman and like i said you know i didn't know the whole wave was a chase but I'm glad that he did this because I actually like this particular one a lot more than I like this one. I like this one, but they are not the same. Like they really went all out. You can actually see that the greens are different. So this one's more like a neon light green and he has the uh, black armor arm. And then this one's more of a sort of like a glossy, shiny, royal type green. I mean, he's shiny all over. You know, we got plenty of Aquamans and I'm happy that we pretty much got a lot of a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? I, I actually now want to get his uh, 
his uh, seahorse that he rides on. I want to get some more of those now that I got multiple variations of Aquaman. But I'm never going to get tired of Aquaman, you know. Yeah, he was a, he's a cheesy character from Justice Friends back in the day. But, I mean, the sculpt and the, the, the attention to design on his face and everything is pretty impressive. He actually looks like Edge from WWE, which I thought was pretty cool. He's like a, he's a, yeah, he looks just like Edge. He looks exactly like Edge, and I like that. You know what I'm saying? Edge is one of my one of my uh, favorite wrestlers. But yeah, man, Aquaman. And, you know, he shares the same sculpt as before when he first was released. Um, same legs. It just have, you know, different painted arm. He has a whole new upper body, new sculpt. So all of this is up here is new. And I think you can only use this for Aquaman. It's all sculpted in. So you can actually see the shine in the detail. All in the back. All of it's sculpted. And I didn't know how cracked up it was until I saw the silver one. Because this one, even though it was like, it was more darker, but I noticed that it did have like chipped armor on it. And I was like, wow, that's, that's impressive that, you know, they paid attention to details to actually do that. But yeah, Aquaman, he came out pretty good. No need for a trident because he has one arm. And finally, for if you collected all four of those figures, you can build yourself a builder figure of Plastic Man. Probably one of the best Plastic Mans that ever, that's ever going to come out. Honestly, this is the best version, rendition of Plastic Man. The only thing that hinders this, and I wish they did, was they give him bendy arms. But it doesn't really bother me that much because we have a Plastic Man. Plastic Man is like the second best. Not only is he stretched out, but he's also very, very smart. He is a detective. It came to a point where Batman couldn't solve a case and he had to get Plastic Man to solve the case. So this is a this is not just a gummy dude. You know what I'm saying? He shares the same smarts as Mr. Fantastic from Marvel. But I like the fact that Todd actually gave us a builder figure Plastic Man. I like the attention to design and detail in his head. I like the wackiness of how he looks. You know what I'm saying? The sculpt on it is very impressive. And you actually see they 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 took their time. All of this is is etched in. So this is this is very impressive, yo. This is like the Jim Carrey of superheroes. If if they was gonna make a Plastic Man movie, obviously we would need Jim Carrey to actually play that. But I think he would do a good job because he's also a serious actor. And knowing now and knowing that Plastic Man is a detective first and smart, I think he could have pulled it off. Honestly, I don't even know if there was a Plastic Man movie ever made. But if they if they would make one. In this day and age, it would have to be Jim Carrey. That's the only one I could see that can actually play this role. And the wackiness and the silliness and the goofiness of it would be fantastic. His toes are sort of there, but not because you can actually see that because he's plastic. You know, I'm pretty sure Todd said, fuck it, plastic. He's plastic, man. <laughs> you don't need this. You don't need to scope his toes. It's plastic, plastic. But yeah, overall, I like the way he came out. You know what I'm saying? Articulation in the waist. He can bend all around. You know what I'm saying? His head is on a peg from the neck. So you can actually swap the two. I have, I have, I actually have two other heads pretty much the same that I use because I did buy the wave twice. But if you want to build two Plastic Mans, here's what I would do. I would get the John Stewart chase, right? And then I would get one of the, the actually the other Aquaman. And then what you'll have is you'll have a second torso and you'll have a second pair of legs. You're already getting both of these arms together in, I think it's the Batman. But you're getting arms already. In one of those packs, you're going to get two sets of arms. So all you need, since you have two sets of arms, is the legs and the torso. And you're done with this wave. But if you want to go ahead and go further, you can actually just buy the whole wave again. And, uh, you know, pretty much have a whole bunch of accessories for your Plasma Man. But overall... I like. I actually like the way this Plastic Man came out. This is probably gonna be one of my top favorite McFarlane. It's already in the top ten for this year alone. Plastic Man McFarlane toys. And that is it for my McFarlane toys JLA Plastic Man Builder Figure Wave. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you got this wave or not. I know it's showing up in stores now, so you know what I'm saying. Run out there, you know, get your barcodes going. Scan those devices and see if you're, this wave is showing up in your local target. And I will catch you in another video in the future. Peace.